Algebra 2, lesson 1, excuse me, Algebra 2, lesson 114, nonlinear inequalities. So what we mean by nonlinear inequalities is um, before we've been doing these inequality problems where you'd have to shade a region of the graph that, you know, was represented by this equation. For example, y greater than the line would be all the portions above the line, y being less than the line would be all the portions below the line. Um, and then nonlinear just means not a straight line. So we're going to be looking at inequalities like so, which I have beautifully uh, recreated on my whiteboard. It's beautiful. Whoops. That's, I should have tightened my camera much tighter today. Let me see here. Okay. Um, so the two inequalities that we're dealing with here are y equals one half x minus four, and then y or y is greater than and equal to one half x minus four, and then y is greater than and equal to negative x squared plus four x minus one. Now, um, just judging by these equations, we know that this x squared equation is going to be the curvy line because straight lines don't have exponents. So we already know that this x squared version is going to be this sad face parabola, right? And then we know that this one is going to be the straight line. So let's just look at the straight line for now because we have four letter options to choose from um, to satisfy the inequality. We can either choose section A, section B, uh, section D, or section C, which is represented on both of these letters because it's on either side of the parabola. So let's start with just the line. If we want to be greater than and equal to this straight line, that means we're going to be above it. So if we want to be above this line, that means our only options are A and B. C and D are out because they're below the line. So we already know it's not either of the C's or the D. Now, what we have to figure out is what is greater than and equal to the parabola. So uh, is greater than the parabola above it or inside of it? That's a good question. So uh, if you look at this, uh, it works much similar to the line. You know, uh, If you just look at the, the vertex of the curve, above that vertex is going to be positive, below that vertex is going to be negative. It doesn't matter if it's a a positive or a smiley face parabola or a frowny face parabola. The same rules apply. Um, so in this case, since we want to be above this vertex, then the only answer left is going to be A. So the region that satisfies these two equations is region A because it is greater than the line, greater than the vertex of the parabola. So that's pretty simple, right? This should be a pretty easy lesson. Well, there's one more example that we got to look at that might throw some of you for a loop. So I'm going to go ahead and pause and then do another drawing. All right, example two. What if we have a circle? Because that's a nonlinear shape, right? So we've got a circle, and then we've got a straight line. And let's look at the equations. So obviously, the equation of the circle has the x squared term and apparently y squared term as well. Uh, and then the equation of the line is just the y is greater than x because it's perfectly 40, it's a 45 degree line, y, x, y greater than x. Uh, so we can tell that this is the line because one, there's no equal to symbol on the line, which would mean it would be a dashed shape anyway. Um, and then also there's no x squared term in the line. So it's definitely not going to be the curvy shape. So let's start with what's greater than the line. All right, so we've got the options of A and D being outside the circle and then B and C being on the inside of the circle, both on other sides of the line. So let's figure out as far as the line goes, what we can use. So if we're greater than the line, that means we can't be D because that's definitely lower than the line. We can't be C because that's lower than the line as well. So um, the line helped us eliminate two possibilities. Now let's look at the circle, okay? So the circle is less than and equal to 16. Now the question is what, does, what counts as less than the circle? Is inside the circle less than or is outside the circle less than? Well, the answer is inside. Anything inside the confines of the circle is counted as less than. Anything outside the uh, shape of the circle is counted as greater than the circle, okay? So since we have to be less than the circle, then the correct answer is going to be B, because B is on the inside of the circle, meaning it's less than, which means A, also not correct. Now, if it were greater than the circle, then A would have been the correct answer, because again, greater than the circle is outside the circle. Um, and that's really all we're going to run into with these types of problems. So if you guys have any questions, let me know on Moodle. Other than that, I will see you in class.